Hey everyone, Jan here, codingwithjan.com. Today I want to give you a quick but yet very important update on some of the changes coming to Shopify's free themes. We are going to be covering the new themes that are coming, what features you can expect, and also how to migrate from older themes. This is going to be particularly important if you're an agency, a freelancer, or Shopify partner, because you just need to know how this is going to impact merchants. So then I would say, let's have a look. All right, so by now you're probably all familiar with the new Dawn theme. It was the first theme to support the online store 2.0 features, and it's also the new default theme when you create a store from scratch. In direct comparison to the older free themes, Dawn is also a very fast and lightweight theme. Yeah, I guess we all know how performance and page speed is always a major concern for merchants, right? And you can also use Dawn to learn more about the new theme architecture or how to build themes in a very web native way. And it can even be used as a starting point for building your own themes, which is pretty cool. Okay, but now why am I telling you all of this? What is changing in 2022? As a first announcement, starting from today, you will find three new themes sitting next to Dawn. And the way these were created is that they were forked from Dawn's GitHub repo. And then each of the themes is pre-configured for one of the top merchant industries. So Dawn will be an apparel theme. Then Craft for home and decor stores. Crave, there will be a theme for beverage and the food industry. And Sense, there will be for the health and beauty niche. And when we say pre-configured, it means that they will all share the same sections and the same settings. But the pre-configuration or the default configuration is really focused on one specific industry. And to give an example here, the Crave theme, which is for food and beverage, they will have a collapsible tab with ingredients on the product page. And in the same way, they all have their own visual styles, their own branding per default to support their industry and to help merchants get started more quickly. All right, then we can also talk a bit about the new features. And first of all, all these themes will have a slideshow section, which was heavily requested for Dawn. And then there will also be more styling options on a global level. As you know, every theme has section specific options and then also the global theme settings. And here you will be able to make changes to borders or control the shadows of different elements, things like the opacity, width, radius, offset, and so forth. And this would apply to different components like product cards or buttons, for example. Then we will also have more settings on a section level. And just to name one example here, on the product page within the main section, we can now choose between different layout options, which gives more control over how much size the media occupies or how thumbnails are being displayed. And of course, they will also support all the online store 2.0 features like sections everywhere, app blocks, dynamic linking of meta fields. And speaking of meta fields, there we also find some improvements because we can now add these to collections, orders or customers. For instance, you could add a customer's birth date. Beyond that, there would also be new storefront slash collection filters for meta fields. For example, this could be someone selling wine and you want to filter for the country or the region like Italy, France, etc. And that will give more fine grain control over large product catalogs. And then lastly, I want to announce that the limit for template files will now be increased to 1000 per storefront which was heavily requested as well. All right, then let's also talk about the next steps for merchants and agencies. So if merchants wanna have access to the advanced theme settings, or if they are potentially still using a vintage theme, not supporting the online store 2.0 features, then you could definitely propose a migration or update some of their templates as a service. And of course, merchants will be encouraged to take a look at the new themes, free and paid ones, and then you as an agency can already be prepared for that or for some of the questions you might get. So this is actually a good opportunity for you as an agency to stand out because you can help your clients assess the best option for their business and also support and guide them in the process. But just keep in mind that if clients wanna have access to the new theme settings I've mentioned regarding shadows and borders, etc., they only come with the new free themes. And if you pick a theme from the official theme store, then any theme with the OS 2.0 badge will be compatible with the online store 2.0 features, but they will have their own sections and settings. If you're now wondering how to get started when updating a client's theme, let me also give you a few important tips on the way. Uh, essentially, there are only two different ways to approach this. A would be 
to install a completely new theme, whether it be a third party theme or one of the new free themes, and then run a theme migration. Or the second path would be to update some of their templates to the new JSON format, because they would already give you access to sections everywhere, app blocks, and the dynamic linking of meta fields through the customizer. The decision on which path to take also depends a bit on the number of code customizations made to the current theme, also considering code snippets that were added through apps. So I think the best I can do for you in this short video is to just give you some ideas and considerations on the way. So if you're choosing a completely new theme, pretty much the whole backend would stay intact. That is to say products, collections, uploaded content, but you would need to rebuild the entire storefront and also all code customizations from the previous theme would be lost. So if you're using Git for version control, then it would be a very good idea to just go through the different commits, through the commit history, and see if any important features would be affected by that. If on the other hand, you have a client on Dawn and they also wanna have access to the new theme settings, then coming soon, they might be eligible for an automated update process. And this automated process would go through the theme files line by line, or better to say through the settings, and if they're still compatible, carry them over. But there's a caveat to it, because this would only work if you haven't made significant code changes. And given that caveat, it's actually quite likely that only a small number of merchants would qualify for this right now. But if they do, you would find that within the theme index on the admin dashboard. And then let's say you have a client on Dawn with significant code changes, but you still wanna to update to the most recent version. Then you can first try to carry over the settings manually and as for the code customizations, you would also have to check manually if they're still compatible. One tool that I find very helpful in that regard is a string comparison tool called Diff Checker. Basically highlights two templates and the differences side by side. And if you used Git for version control, that also works in your favor, because then you might be able to use the git cherry pick command to pick a certain commit from the old theme and then just migrate it to the new one. And that way you might be able to carry over some features right away. And then lastly, if your client operates on a theme that's not compatible with the online store 2.0 features yet, but still decides to stick with the current theme, then you might just wanna update some of the templates. And in that case, you would need to learn about the online store 2.0 features if you haven't already. And we have some great resources in the official theme documentation or on the Shopify Devs YouTube channel or on this one right here. And we will also link some resources in the video description. And you can also use the new free themes as a great resource. You can take a look at the theme architecture. You can take them apart, build them back together and really get familiar with the code base. That will help a lot. All right, everyone, that's it for today. And it was my absolute pleasure to be your host. I sincerely hope you found this helpful to get you up to speed. If you got any questions, you can leave them in the comment section. And then also huge shout out to Sasha Williamson from the product marketing team. She was helping on this one tremendously and really pushing it forward. Much appreciated. And then I would just say, have an amazing day. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.